All right, time for lunch. Inside the Ritz-Carlton is uh, Jack Dusty's, and inside Jack Dusty's is Chef Caleb Taylor. And Chef, today we've got some seafood. Good afternoon. We're going to show everyone how to make grouper on papillote uh, at home in their kitchen. All right, sharp turn back to the kitchen. Let's go to John, who's with Chef Caleb now, guys. Good to have you in the kitchen, Caleb. It's always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure. And you're cooking up something <clears throat> neat from Ch uh, Jack Dusty's today? A absolutely. So this is a classic dish, but yep. we've kind of used the bounty of uh, a Sarasota to kind of make it our own. And this is a fun dish because you can make it at home so very easily, uh, you know, with your kids, uh, with family, whomever it might, might be. But this is, I mean, like a classic French dish, right? It is. On papillot, so it, tr it uh, translates into in parchment. Uh, and you can do, you know, primarily fish is the most popular one. Uh, but you can use, you know, poultry, lamb, whatever it might be. And the great thing is you can put anything in this. Uh, and what we're going to put in ours is we have some beautiful black grouper here. Uh, we're going to take uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, season this. Okay. We'll put a little bit of olive oil on there as well. So it kind of has that little cooking medium. I have some asparagus. I'm going to kind of, we'll just take a couple tips here. We'll put in here. Okay. We'll kind of put it underneath. I have these beautiful tomatoes we got from uh, our friends at uh, Honeyside Farms there in, uh, in here in Sarasota. I love those little grape tomatoes. Yeah, they're this beautiful, aren't they? Explode with flavor. We have some shallots we're going to put in here for just a little bit of extra flavor. That is a big shallot. That is a big shallot, yeah. Uh, and then we have leeks as well. Now, a lot of people are intimidated by using leeks, uh, but you know, they're they're a great flavor to add to anything you're cooking. Uh, but very important is when you are using these is to wash them because there's a lot of dirt that can collect inside of those. So we'll kind of cut these up just kind of lightly. And you know, this is really a rustic kind of a peasant dish, so don't be afraid to to you know kind of uh, get some of your items rough in there. And then of course we're going to add our Florida spin on that. We're going to add a little bit of citrus to this. So we have these beautiful oranges. We're going to place right on the top there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I have a little bit of uh, uh, one of my favorite beers, the Cigar City a Florida Cracker. I'm going to add into there. That's going to help steam the fish and steam all of the vegetables inside of there. Uh, and then, of course, I have a little bit of garlic. I so love garlic. Is, is this actually a method of steaming? Is that what it is? It is. You're steaming inside the bag. You'll see mm -hmm. that we're going to wrap this um, very nicely. And again, this is something fun that you know I do with my children at home. And I think um, this is critical, the way you wrap it, right? This is so very important. And lock in the uh, steam. Exactly. And we're just kind of folding this over uh, to lock in everything, all the good stuff that's happening in there. Okay, so we'll get this. Yeah, kinda. you can see what he's doing there. He's, he's, he's kind of twisting it all along a line so that one fold kind of folds over itself, folds over the next one, folds exactly. over the next one. And there's no really wrong way to do this, just as long as you're keeping everything contained in there. You can't use a staple gun, though. I would probably advise <laughs> against that. Uh, but not. I am going to put this in the oven. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, you know, I always wanted to say the magic of television. So thank you for allowing me to say that. <laughs> uh, but we do have uh, a grouper here. And I put this in a 400 degree oven. Okay. Uh, it's going to be about 16 minutes. And everyone says, how do I know when uh, the fish is done? Yes. And again, using a thermometer is the best possible way. Uh, we're going to want to cook this to about 145 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll pull it out at about 135, 40 degrees because it is going to carry over cooking. Um, and then, you know, for the presentation, which is one of my favorite parts about cooking on papillote, and I'm still waiting for him to come out with uh, Smell-O-Vision, uh, but I don't know if you can oh, smell all those yeah, great really flavors can. coming out of yeah, that. Yeah, uh, just steams right up. Yeah, you have the, mm. the citrus, you have the, uh, the beer that goes with that as well. Mm -hmm. You could use wine, you can mm. use, you know, some of my vegetarian friends will use uh, cooked mushrooms and assorted vegetables with like a, a Ooh, dark nice. lager. Uh -huh. uh, but a lot of fun things that you can do with this. And then, of course, in uh, Jack Dusty, we serve this with uh, our saffron uh, lemons, uh, beurre blanc, mm. uh, which is a butter sauce. And then we have some roasted potatoes as oh, well. What a fantastic meal. Now, you've got to use parchment paper, right? You don't want to like cut up an old paper bag or something like that. I, I would advise against that because yeah. maybe the inks could uh, get out of that. But okay. now, I do this sometimes. I don't want to heat up my house with the oven. So I'll use my grill outdoors. And I'll use uh, t aluminum foil, which works oh, just okay. as well. Interesting. You anything you could use really for this. Recipes on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining link page. And Caleb's recipes will be right there along with his video instructions. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Pleasure having you here. I can't <laughs> wait to tuck you into this. Absolutely. Pass me a fork. We'll be right back. <laughs>